Previously on Alan Wake, something I only know is the Dark Presence held my wife captive and used her to make me write a horror story that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan? I saved Alice, then wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness, it consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Welcome to the... Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. I can't believe it. I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. I didn't understand Zane's message, and knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure.
I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically, the rounds of slippery stones throw away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. She was startled by the phone. The GPS system was working. I hadn't expected that. Hello? I'm trying to reach you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. It made no sense for the GPS system to work. I doubted any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. He cracked bone and crushed muscle. It oozed hate. I wanted to bury him. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. system was supposed to lead me to Zane. 
but the shifts were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous, but I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going.
don't see very. Look! Wait! Maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. The playground! Wake's pathetic memories of the Wonder Years and the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. It surged up and beat Wake down, clearing around and slides, eager to cave in his head. to find the key to get the door open. I had to find the key to get the door open. got bigger or I got smaller. The signal was going haywire. I would have to find my way out of here on my own.
Zane left me a page. He was trying to help me. Seller, looking good. You, you, you're not real. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination, just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. Okay. Okay, look. I gotta get going. The GPS. The GPS. Yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. I'm here to help you. The thing is, you need to get a grip, all right? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ah, babe, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages, he's like the expert. Anyway, if this is insane, and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter, Al. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. Can't lie to yourself, know what I'm saying? I must be a sucker for punishment. You? No, really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid I trouble. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks that'd that. be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world. Or maybe it's the Sawmill, because I said it's the Sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. Woo! Mama! Hey, how? I guess the pen is my uh, ear. If you that complete that sentence, you're fine. Not even flesh anymore. 
Just shadows and ghosts and thoughts <laughs> slicing through his flesh. <laughs> You know, you're gonna have to make your way across here. I think the solution probably has something to do with those words. Really? You think? Yeah! You should probably use them! Your insight is staggering. Oh, I know! Shit. Uh, Al, I'm not saying anything you haven't come up with first. Figment, remember? Wake's own this kind words. of thing could drive a man insane. In the landscape. No! His this is books great. common and, and discarded. Like for mud beneath his feet. Hardbacks, paperbacks, turned against him. Trash. Trash. I had seen weird transmissions of this before. Not like this. The version of myself I saw now sounded insane. The dance and storytelling goes out to torment and destroy his protagonist. Get off me! Wow, 
now. Come on. You gotta be careful. Those are bad words. <laughs> bad words. You need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward! If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one Shut understands you. Mouth. But I'm talking... Mary.
What are you up to? I thought this was my side of the bed. He entered the trap, surrounded by enemies. Wake had nowhere to run. I'm so sick of you! is setting off my allergies. You're not even really there. Well, my allergies are definitely here. Push it! See? 
allergies. downstairs. We don't have time for Alan. I knew she wasn't really here, but she still made my heartache. I had saved Alice, but I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? Longer? I had no way of knowing. was all right. I didn't know what happened to her after she left the dark place. Zane? Is that you? Oh. Hey, hold that pose. That was a good one. Like this? Yeah, but smile a little more. No, that's too much. You want to look mysterious. You me a little tough. You know how people go for those dangerous bad boys. But I'm not dangerous. Oh, come on. You write about terrible things all the time. People want to think that you're intimately familiar with them. You kill Casey in this book. You need to look a little bit... is calmer, at least for the time being. We can talk here, but we don't have much time. Zane, how do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you, even as we speak. Darkness. Darkness coming! Swept him away. Lost! He knew. He knew! He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no way out. Oh! No! I'm right here, oh, Zane! Wrong. That's not me, it's wrong. just... I don't know, an echo, a hallucination. The Dark no, Presence! the Dark Presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You are fighting yourself. Wake didn't understand it. He would never make it. He would never wake up. He'd get swallowed up in the rising tide of darkness. It was coming. It was coming. Shut up! Gah! No! Swept away by the gathering insanity. Zane was gone. 
Wake could feel the pressure, gnawing at his mind. The darkness wasn't so bad. It was in him. He felt it. He knew the voice spoke the truth. It was just too hard to think. He can't, couldn't make sense of it. Couldn't, he wanted to go with the flow. Stop thinking and just let go.